today we're going to try to fix this broken door handle from the 2013 Chevy Silverado. Alright, so as you can see, all of this is broken here. The door handle is just dangling. So we're going to go ahead and try to fix this. Looks like the door handle itself is intact. All the metal things and everything. This is still good. Where it latches onto the cable to release the door handle. Or release the door from matching. So let's go ahead and slide this in just like that to position and flip it back around all right and so for here where it's broken uh, you want to make sure this is all the way through here we're gonna go ahead and put two screws and we're gonna tie this one down with this deep clip and I just purchased this kit from Hubble Free hopefully we find the right size to get that in there. So let's go ahead and drive in these two Phillips screws. Not too much. We don't want to strip it. We just want to make sure it's holding it down. This is going to be the little tricky part. I'm going to try to put that in there. Just like so. The round piece up on top. Flat on the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and try to put that in real quick. Alright, I just stick these needle nose behind it so I can pry it up. There I have it leveled up. So I can put this E-ring. Put this E-click. Uh, the size I'm using is the quarter, so I'm going to go ahead and use it with the channel locks. I'm going to go ahead and put that in real quick. Alright, there it is. I think I have a gap for another one, so I'm actually going to put another one this way. That way I can close that gap and hopefully it does not fall through there because that's where it's broken. Alright, and there it is. Double ring. It was actually easier to use the needle nose to put those in. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Oh wow, still seems broken. Well, I guess maybe not because that's how you have to open it to unlatch it. It's not moving from there. It's pulling over here. Oh look, it's falling. Damn. You know what? I'm gonna try it with this washer. And see if it works with that. All right, and there it is. The way I did it was put a C-clip underneath this washer, then another C-clip, C-clip, E-clip. Put an E-clip on the bottom, put the washer, put another E-clip on top. And there it is. Work on it hard. It's still together. Sweet. And that is how you do that. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. I just wanted to point out that on this one, we actually had to use smaller screws and we had to cut a smaller one. This one's pretty tiny already. Because it was actually poking itself through the other side. There it is. That a little mix. Can't feel it. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. All right, let's get out of here before we get kicked out. <laughs>